welcome to Jay's Good Grubbing. So today we're making African spicy ginger drink. Mm. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to cut and peel your ginger. I'm using three ginger roots. Um, I would say they're about medium to large in size. So once I'm done peeling that, I'm just going to peel it and put it into a separate bowl. And this does not have to be super precise since this is all going to be going into a blender and going to be strained. Now once you're done peeling, it'll look like so. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to chop up the ginger pieces into even smaller pieces. Because these are going into the blender, we want to make sure that they're, they can blend um, correctly. So you're just going to chop that into smaller pieces. Um, so that they're ready to go into the blender. So now that they're all chopped up, what we're going to do is we're going to put about half of the chopped ginger into the blender. And then you're going to take about two cups of water and add that um, into the mixture. I only added one, about one cup, and it was not enough, so I had to go back and add another cup, as you'll be able to see here. So you're going to blend it on medium. And I definitely needed more water, so I went ahead and added about another cup of water to the mixture. Now you're going to blend again and you're going to keep on blending until um, the mixture resembles a kind of slushy texture. And once it's done, you're going to place that into a separate bowl. Okay, so now we're just going ahead and we're going to mix the other half of the, the cut up ginger. So we put that in the blender and I added some water again. So we're just going to blend that again and get that to a slushy texture as well. And now that it's all done, you want to empty that out into the same previous bowl that we had the other blended ginger in. And then I'm just going to add a bit of water into the blender just so I can get the rest of that blended ginger. Now that it's in a bowl, we're going to go ahead and start straining. So this is the two-step process, and we, we strain it twice. So what, we're, what I'm doing right now is just adding the blended ginger into the strainer, and I'm pressing on it just so that the juices can all come through. Now once you're done pushing on it, every time you push on it, you want to make sure that you put that same mixture into another separate bowl because we're going to repeat the same process by adding water to the already squeezed ginger and get the last bit of juices from it. So that looks pretty strange. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that for the rest of the ginger. And I'm using a small strainer since it was pretty easy for me to hold as well as uh, push down at the same time. Okay, so I'm putting that into a separate bowl just so that it doesn't get overflowed. And then what I did was added some water to the already strained ginger and then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that same process by putting into the strainer and pressing down on it and squeezing it and trying to get the every last bit of juice out of it. So now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients just so that it's on point. We're going to add our sugar. So I'm adding about two cups of sugar and this is entirely dependent on how much sugar you like inside your, your ginger drink. Um, so you can add adjusting and then keep on adjusting it according to your taste. So once I added the sugar, I'm just going to go ahead and mix it a bit just so that um. I'm, I help uh, dissolve the, the crystal pieces. 
And then you're going to add in your pineapple juice. So I added about one cup of pineapple juice to the mixture and this makes it taste really, really, really good. And lastly, I'm adding lemon juice. So I'm adding only about half a cup of lemon juice to the mix. And this is just going to balance everything out. So once that's done, all you're going to do is just go ahead and keep on mixing until all the sugar, the sugar pieces have dissolved and everything is all nice and blended. And you can keep tasting along the way and adjust according to your taste buds. And I was satisfied with it. It was spicy. It was sweet. Um, and very strong. And I'm just emptying it onto a cup. And I'm going to pop that into the fridge. And we're good to go. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to Jay's Good Grubbin'.